Hello. In this video, I will show you something that can go wrong with your Ubuntu installation. Say, for example, when you open your Ubuntu terminal, you get this. Instead of a username, or probably you never got the, the pop-up or the instruction to enter a new username and password, you simply ended up with what I have now, root at ntnu dot whatever. So you have, instead of a username, you have root at your name of the computer, and your prompt ends with a hash instead of a greater than sign. So this uh, problem, I don't know how it happens, but it has happened quite often in my class. So I will show you how to fix this problem. What happens here is your Ubuntu terminal only has a root user. And for most of the applications that you will involve yourselves in the class, being a root user is not a good idea. And you'll keep getting this warning all the time, and it kind of, kind of gets irritating. So it's best to add a new user, which you can use to do all your work. So to do that, here is the command, sudo add user and give a username. Since I already have a different account, I will call it user1. So sudo add user, user1. And now you see it says adding user, user1, and asks you for a new Unix password. So now you have the opportunity to enter a password this user. And now this is, it asks you for name and so on, which is not really necessary. So you can just keep pressing enter with blank values and say yes. And that's it. So now you have created a new user, and that user is called user one. So, so, so to switch from root to this user that you have created, you can just type su space minus the name of the username that you have created. And there you go. You are now switched from root to a user and your prompt ends with a dollar sign and not with a hash sign. So that's a way to fix this problem. So, Maybe you have fixed the problem, but once you close that window and you open it again, you're back to root and you need to do the SU minus whatever all the time. In order to change this, there is a way to change the default user, the user with which your Ubuntu terminal opens. So for this, we will go into the normal command line prompt, which is the DAWs interface for people who have who started using computers in the early 90s, like me. So that's CMD. If you search for CMD, you get the command prompt. This is the terminal of Windows. And here, you can just type a very simple command, Ubuntu config minus minus default minus user, and enter the user that you want to be the default user. So here I say, uh, since I showed you user one, I say user one, and that's it. So the next time you open your Ubuntu terminal, you are signed in as user one. So this is how you can fix the problem where you don't get a username, but you get signed in as, as root. Another problem could be when you have forgotten your password. If you've forgotten your password, then you can reset that password by being root. To do that, you do the opposite. You say Ubuntu config minus minus default user root. So now you change the default user to root. That's done. You open your Ubuntu file uh, terminal. You are signed in as root. And now you want to change your password for user one. So you say pass wd user one. And now you can enter a new password for user one and password updated successfully. So once that is done, you can simply close this, go back to CMD, and change this back to user1. 